Hi guys, it's Didi here and in this video I'm going to show you our current night routine with Mika who is 2 years and 7 months old. This is a very typical night for us, this is what we usually do on a weekday. I normally come home anytime between 6 and 7 depending on uh, you know the schedule for our nanny or depending on whether his dad is at home. So today it's about 6, 6 something. When I get home usually he is waiting for me at the door and he comes to meet me. If I have some bags from shopping, he's very interested to see what I've purchased, but today I don't have any. So, you know, he's always waiting for me at the door. Then we go and sit down and we talk about his day. I always ask him questions about his day. In that way, he exercises his memory and the more he exercises, the stronger it becomes. So I give him lots of practices remembering and in that way I help him improve the ability for him to integrate his implicit, implicit and explicit memory. I also encourage him to remember things, I ask him questions that lead to recollection, I ask him did you do that today, how was it, what did you see, what did you find, so in that way I ask him to remember a lot and I sort of encourage him to remember, to remember, to remember in a way. And then I, you, you know, we open the box with the toys and we would play with whatever is in fashion these days. These days he's obsessed with puzzles. I did not even know that he would like to play with puzzles. We purchased this box of four puzzles by pure chance. I did not know it was a puzzle inside, otherwise I wouldn't have purchased it. I thought that he's too little for that. But then he watched me how I did it for a couple of days and then he started uh, organizing it by himself. Puzzles are great for our kids' mind and for their cognitive development, and they're even good for their mental developments. They basically work on their problem solving, uh, helps them to recognize shapes, uh, helps them to exercise their memory, and they also build emotional skills, because kids learn how to practice patience, and they reward it when they complete the puzzle. So, Mika really likes playing with puzzles recently and I allow him to do that of course and I'm happy because it keeps him busy and I like them as well. So usually I go and change then, I don't, uh, I, I have like clothes for home because of course it gets messy. We play a little bit more depending on how much time we have and then I'm gonna cook something very quick for dinner. I don't cook every night, uh, sometimes we've got food from lunch because our beautiful au pair who lives with us, she's cooking uh, something for lunch and quite often we'll have something left, but uh, for example fish or just something quick like what I'm cooking now, uh, it's something which we'll do every now and then. She already made the salad, you have salad every day and I decided to cook one of our favorite meals recently, which is uh, mushrooms and this strange green thing which is called some fire. Uh, mushrooms are great source of an antioxidants, selenium, selenium plays a role in the enzyme function and prevents inflammation and they're really rich in vitamin D as well. I didn't eat much mushrooms before, uh, now I eat a lot of them. Uh, usually they say don't wash them but wipe them, I just wash them because it was quicker but they absorb a lot of water when you wash them so you may decide to just wipe them. And this green thing is called some fire. We recently found out about it. It's a European plant of the parsley family. And it turns out it grows on rocks and cliffs by the sea. Maybe because of that it has this salty taste. It has really a sort of crisp and salty taste and I like it a lot. Now I ask Mika to help us with the plates. It's uh, one of his responsibilities. He's always help us with the plates. And I'm continuing to cook it. It's very easy to do. It's just uh, put some water and olive oil. We've got sweet potatoes that Rotio has already cooked for us. And our dinner is ready. Rotio is joining us for, for dinner. Sometimes she's with us, sometimes she's out or she goes to English course. She is Spanish, she lives with us and she's here to learn English and help us with taking care of Nika. So it's a great au pair program that we have here in Europe, I guess almost everywhere. And it works perfectly well for us. And this is Mika who is enjoying his sardines as well. He asked for sardines. I every now and then offer him. They're a great source of healthy and saturated fats and I'm happy he likes them. Now it's time to clean the table. All of us, we help each other. So either I wash the dishes or Rutil would wash the dishes. We all clean together and this is a very, very helpful device. <laughs> now Daddy's coming home. 
he was late tonight. Sometimes we try to wait for him and have dinner all together, but today now it's about 8, 8.30 and it's too late for me to have his dinner. So we always make sure that one of us at least is at home to have dinner with him so he can have a company. Nika goes to say hi to daddy. Yeah, Nika, daddy's here. And now daddy's hungry, so he'll need to eat and Mika will keep him company. The same thing happens now, they go through the day, what happened today, what did you do, what did you see? And Mika likes to talk a lot. Now it's our favorite time of the evening, we dance. It's something which we've been doing over the last maybe, I don't know, six months. Mika likes moving a lot, so we do lots of dancing in the evening. We don't have TV, we don't allow him screen time just yet, maybe for another three, four, five months, then I don't know how I'm going to regulate it. But for the moment it's lots of play and just time spent together with books or dancing. It's good to keep us moving. And he goes around the table hundred times. <laughs> I don't know where does he take his energy from. We do all sorts of movements at home. <laughs> now we put the toys together. I always ask Mika to help me to put his toys back because I think that that's a very important way to teach him habits. This is our bar on the door which serves us as an exercising tool. <laughs> <laughs> and Mika loves it. Yep. And now it's time to get a little bit slower and prepare for bed. We usually dance uh, on playlists that we choose in Spotify and we don't listen to kids' songs anymore. We used to in the beginning, you know, the famous the wheels on the bus go round and round and uh, all, all, all the rest, row, row, row your boat, but we don't enjoy them that much. And I actually saw that Mika enjoys listening to the music that we listen to. So it's usually uh, rock and roll for dancing, or we like the good oldies, I'm so excited, all these sorts of songs that are great for dancing. And now it's time to put him to sleep. It takes another half an hour before we finish with our usual routine. Blinds are down, then I'm gonna wash him quickly. We don't take baths, it's just quickly showering him. We do that since he was eight months old and he starts standing and it was very hard to keep him in the little bath that he had. So we just ask him to stand and we wash his body very quickly. We wash him every night. Coconut oil for massaging him. Lots of Laughter. And he's almost ready. We usually take a couple of toys with us, so in the morning when he wakes up, he can start playing with them. You can watch on the morning routine, what usually we do in the mornings. Baby yoga? Yes, baby. And it's time to take him to the bathroom so uh, we can brush his teeth. I allow him to brush his teeth for about 30 seconds by himself because that's how he he'll learn how to do it. But of course I need to <laughs> be in charge after that <laughs> to make sure we cover all the areas. <laughs> Tonight he's gonna go to bed with daddy. It doesn't really matter whether he's with me or with his daddy, we do the same thing. He has his favorite books, currently he has three favorite books, and we go through all of them. He will uh, go through the pages and tell us stories about what he sees, or we ask him questions about what he sees. This one is about Dusty, airplanes. He, he really loves this book. So we ask him, what do you see here? Who is that? He knows the names of all the heroes in the book. The second one is this one, Good Night trailer or something like that. It's for a boy who says good night to all his toys. And Mika absolutely loves this book. So he goes through all the pages. He sees all the objects. He names them. And this is the cow Lily, his favorite. We named the cow Lily. And then he goes through all the books again, and usually takes about 20 minutes. 
now it's 9 45 it's time to go to bed That's it guys, this is our night routine. I really hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. And if so, please give me a thumb up, subscribe for my channel for weekly Tuesday goodies, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.